Jesus Christ, I knew it! <laughs> oh, that was a really cute moment. I'm glad we got that. You know what? Good for them. <laughs> hey, what's up, peeps? Welcome back for another video. Today, I have for you Hell of a Boss Season 1, Episode 6, Truth Seekers. Now, today, I can't really get into discussion at the beginning because I'm kind of running out of time for today. And if I don't get this recorded now, then it's going to be like a couple days before I can record again. So I need to go ahead and get started with this. So let me just end this by saying, if you guys like this video and you like what you see, or just find us off coming back in the regular, then please do like and subscribe. And remember guys, if you want to see the full length version of this reaction, as well as early access to content, a private Patreon Discord server, movie requests, and a whole bunch of other goodies, then go down to the Patreon link down below. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into... Hell of a Boss, Season 1, Episode 6, Truth Seekers. Ooh, they were being watched. This was the first sighting. They are definitely from... <laughs> Blitz. They always attack at random, all over the country. There's no way to predict where they'll show up next. Right outside. Are you serious? Pardon my words, sir. You're currently being the loudest. I said shush your dick sucking lips, Moxie. I'm gonna have to board that. That's gross. Luna, close it! Wait, no! Oh shit. Uh oh. Moxie! Once again, you can tell that Blitz really does care about the others, like, of course he loves, like I said before, like, he loves Luna the most, and that's pretty clear. But, I like how we get to see little snippets that he actually does care for Moxie and Millie, and especially Moxie, because the amount of shit that Blitz gives Moxie is insane. <laughs> <laughs> but you, but here you can really tell that he really does care for him, and you know it, it's just really nice to see. Back off, you tuxedo wearing box. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. What are you doing sitting there? The boys are in trouble. Open it again. Blitz was using a total of zero euphemisms, innuendos, or swears. That means it was serious, which means I don't open it until- Open the fucking portal now! <laughs> okay! <laughs> Calm down. They aren't here! It smells like they went this way. Come on. I always forget that she's a hellhound. Look, shitbag, it takes a lot to keep me down, all right? I took a fuck ton of tranquilizers in the college I dropped out of. Also, I've been strapped nipple first to a car battery, so I- Oh, okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Blitz. First of all, we just woke up from a very nasty shock, and I'm still feeling fucking woozy, so I'm gonna request you back <laughs> some coffee before we get into this. I mean, everyone gets coffee in shitty movies with scenes like this, am I right? I want something iced, bitch, Mox. I'll have a Neapolitan cappuccino, more Capitan Chino. <laughs> oh, no! No, I've heard of this reference. Moxie's Starbucks order. No, I've heard of this. No, I, I need to see what he says here, but I've definitely heard this reference. I'll have a Neapolitan cappuccino, more Capitan Chino. Make sure it's got no more than four ounces of milk the beans won't have the right texture otherwise <laughs> and make sure they spell my name correctly on the cup they always put foxy or roxy i hate that if you can't handle that i'll have a venti traditional misto please use soy milk with two blonde shots affogato and ristretto <laughs> the leg we are willing to resort to torture methods to get answers out of you nasty hell beasts they might like it. And you would have no way of knowing what was true. Or we might like it too much. And then you've yep. got a whole new thing to deal with. What do you mean by that? Ah, oh, you're stupid, huh? I could work with stupid daddy likey dummy. <laughs> <laughs> I love Blitz. You've had us tied here for what? Hours? And you haven't even had us confirm what exactly we are. What are you? I'm a Virgo. <laughs> <laughs> We aren't playing any of Isle Demon Kinks! I mean, that's what it sounded like back there, you sickos. Please don't give them ideas, sir. Why not? I know the shit you're into. <laughs> hey, aren't we gonna get our phone call, bitch? Well, that entirely depends. Who are you gonna call? Your mom. Hmm? Your fat mom. Jesus Christ, I knew it! <laughs> uh. How are we gonna get in? Lift me up to that van. Yeah, that would work. 
Why are they using fucking melee weapons? Damn, you're pretty agile for an old lady. I'm like five years older than you. Remind me to never ever piss off Millie. <laughs> I do not ever want to be on Millie's bad side. Stop insulting my mom! <laughs> the tongue! The little tongue. Don't worry, Mox. If we keep being obnoxious, they'll eventually slip up and we'll get a chance to get out. Let's just keep fucking with them until they get so frustrated they stop thinking clearly. Blitz! Well, we can play games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, not truth seekers. She's in danger. Do you ever honestly shut up about Millie? It's always, oh, how's Millie? And she's always five fucking feet away from you. It's pathetic. That was oddly personal. Yeah, you're right. I don't know why the fuck I just let my gut spill like that. Sir, they're filling this room with something. Fuck. What the hell is this? I think it's some kind of airborne truth-telling serum. Oh, you just guess that's what it is? Well, uh... Just ask me something specific I wouldn't normally tell you. Okay, uh, does Millie ever peg you? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Why was that the fucking question? Also, the way his face... His face... His face seems so happy about it. <laughs> okay, uh, does Millie ever peg you? Sometimes. Wait, <laughs> Fuck, I'm sorry. <laughs> it was awful, Moxie. It was about ugly, horny cat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Damn it, Moxie. This is all your fault. How is this my fault? What the hell is going on? Are they hallucinating? I mean, obviously, but how are they hallucinating? Why do you sound like that? Because you, my precious little bitch boy, Stop it, are sir. tripping balls. No, what? How could this be? I've never tried acid shrooms. Oh, a song. My lungs are full of honesty. Would you promise me that you won't judge? Yes, bitch. Not try. <laughs> If you're here causing frustration, I'm torturing you in your hallucination. Probably. I simply follow your orders. It isn't my fault if your orders are as nonsensical as a sun tanning bed left out on the cold rainy porch. And then maybe you can understand half of the frivolous things I can be on and on about on my <laughs> What is going on? Oh, hello, Striker. Oh, that's Fizz. Shove away anyone who gets too close until they resent you. Verasica. Are you afraid to love people, Blitzy? Also craving as well. It's rather unfortunate, sir, considering it's often how you treat those who stand by you. Are you worried I may have enough of it one day as well? Stop fucking talking, all of you! <gasps> They're fucking gone. I will be a better friend than I was before. And together we can begin to become fine. Try one. Oh my god. Do you remember what you said to me after my first day with the company? Not really. I remember. You told me I did a good job and that you were proud to work with me. Aw. Look, I'm hard on you because I know what you're capable of, Mox. You care too much about what everyone thinks except for me because, you know, my opinion is correct. <laughs> you shoot and kill good. You escape things easy. You can be strategic and cold-blooded when you need to, and don't expect any more compliments. I'm Max. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You know my name. Use it. Thanks, Blitz. Oh, that was a really cute moment. I'm glad we got that. Why is everyone having melee weapons? Let's fuck these fuckers up! <laughs> Oh, 
Nice loony. Damn, there's a lot of blood. I might have to blur this. Box, cover me. Yes, sir. <laughs> Damn, this animation is awesome. Do it, motherfucker! What? I am just so damn <laughs> proud of you, Looney. Bye, sweetie. <laughs> Bye, sweetie. <laughs> just one sec. Do you need a gun damn. or anything? No, I'm good. Now she likes that axe, man. Yeah, who wants some quality time with daddy? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> now hold this. Oh yeah, getting hard. Hold this, motherfucker. <laughs> God damn. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. Fire doesn't hurt them. I was about to ask why isn't why ain't third burned? Oh shit! Come on, fam. Let's blow this cocksicle joint. <laughs> hey. Uh oh. Quick, the book. Shit, I can't, I can't read the spell in this light. I can't see dick. Oh, shit. You demons aren't going anywhere now. <laughs> what the fuck? Who dare threaten my impish little play? Oh, it's Stolas! What's the matter, Demon Hunter? Never seen a real demon before. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh my fucking god. That was so fucking cool. That was awesome. Is how how much of a how much of a, an example of his power was that? I guarantee that's not full power. But how how much power was that? I'm guessing not that much. But yeah, holy shit, dude. That was like when Alistair went demon form in episode two. Jesus Christ, that was awesome. Stole it. Well, well, hold on. How did you know that we needed help? I have my ways, darling. Are you all right? Oh, Aww. I'm fine, Stolas. Mm, good. How the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> they caught us off guard, Your Highness. Yeah, you can unclench your bird puss, Stolas. It's not gonna happen again. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Am I going to get any thank you for the rescue, Bitsy? Well, I suppose you should. Want me to fuck your brains out tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Please Jesus do. Christ. <laughs> what the fuck? You know what? Good for them. <laughs> so what now? What now? We finally got the evidence we needed to be taken seriously. Oh no. Oh, they got proof. Shit. Okay, well these guys are coming back. <laughs> oh shit. Damn, that was honestly my favorite episode so far, actually. All right, guys, that was Hell of a Boss Season 1, Episode 6, Truth Seekers. I enjoyed that episode a lot. I think it was probably my favorite so far, and I, I just loved every minute of this. We got to dive into Blitz and Moxie's kind of uh, working relationship and just try and, uh, or not try, but we got to see them try and, you know, form a sort of like a friendship in this episode. You know, they, I guess they weren't really friends, I guess, uh, before this, but now they've kind of gotten comfortable with each other. And, you know, when Moxie was telling Bliss, you know, what he said the first day of the company and everything like that. And then Blitz being like, you know, I'm hard on you because I know what you're capable of. I feel like it really bonded the two and I'm I'll be happy if I get to see them become more friends than just 
a Boston employee, you know. Solus came in clutch at the end with his fucking powers. I'm guessing that's just a small example of Stolas's power. And that's really fucking cool that we got to see a little bit of, I wouldn't say his bad side, but you know, the side of him where he gets protective. Then Millie and Luna kind of became action heroes. You know, they saved Blitz and Moxie. You know, they, they wasn't, they weren't really explored, but I'm okay with it because it gave room for Moxie and Blitz to kind of bond. Uh, and that's something we haven't really seen before. You know, what we saw before was just Blitz kind of ragging on Moxie <laughs> and just, you know, being, uh, being a little much to handle. Then lastly, those humans, they're going to come back. They are definitely going to come back. There's a lot of villains that we've been introduced to and a lot of characters that are going to come back. So yeah, but yeah, that's going to cause a problem for Blitz and everybody else. So I'm excited to see where that goes. But anyways, I think that's going to be the end right there. So let me end this by saying if you guys like this video and like what you saw or you just find yourself coming back on the regular, then please do like and subscribe. It really help out a lot. And remember, guys, if you want to see this full length reaction as well as early access to content, a private Patreon Discord server and more, then go down to the Patreon link down below. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>